Alright, we're going to try and uh, make the wheel here from the Automoblox car. Uh, this is my second shot at this video. Boy, did I make a mess of it last time. I actually like leaving my videos messy on that, in that respect, because I don't want people to think like, well, I just did it in the first try. Um, I like that people know how badly I mess up and how hard it is. Here's my dimensions. You can write them down if you want. Um, they're elsewhere. Uh, I'm putting everything in the same folder, so I'm just going to create a document, and I'm going to call it JT wheel 03-26-20 so get our sketches I'm going to start on the front one and make a sketch there um, I'm going to look at it by clicking the front face and make a circle that is if I recall 0.44 in diameter hit enter click then hit 0.44 zoom in so we can see what the heck's going on then all these commands look real similar offset I want to copy it in it wants to go out so I grab this arrow and drag it in just click doesn't matter and then it says oh did you want 0.153 no I want 0.05 offset out offset cannot create at the distance interesting escape offset um, did I just do something I didn't want to do there? Yes, I did. So, that's gone. Don't know how I pulled that off. Uh, offset again. And we click and say, make that point three five. Where am I getting these dimensions? Right here. Zoom in a little closer for you. Point four four, point oh five, point three five, point oh five, and over here on the right, point five seven. So offset again, which it's still on. I uh, can't see what's going on. Zoom out, click, and then say 0.05. Very nice. Um, I'm done. I'm going to turn it sideways so I can see it a little better. I'm going to turn off all these faces. And then I'm going to zoom in a little better. Extrude, I'm going to pick the inner one, boom, and the outer one, boom, maybe, and then go 0.57 and hit the check mark. There we go. Now, project geometry. It's not there. Um, I went looking for it. They call it use, U S E. So you got to start a sketch somewhere. I'll do it there and I'll look at it and then uses this weird little box use project project is what we're looking for so I want to project this one and this one and that's it now I have a tendency to hit the green box too fast which is not good right click and hit escape use and then hit the green box because we're in good shape and then I want to project that out let's see how much I think it's 0 .05 0 .05 yeah so they're saying project this out 0.05 I'm fine with that extrude there it is 0.05 now last time I hit the green button it makes me nervous I like to hit tab ah that's what I'm looking for and then hit the green button check it off right click and orbit a little bit looking good start a sketch on the front face hit front squares it up a little bit screwed this up earlier we want to make a circle how big well, it says 0.25. That's a radius. So we need to go up here to the top. It gives me that spot. It locks in on it. It says I'll go perpendicular to that line if you want. Click, and then 0.5. So that's 0.25 times 2. I bet this one works. We're at 0.25 times 2. Yep, automatically does the math for me, which is nice. Got to trim this. And uh, here's... I think my biggest mistake earlier huh not let me do that I'm gonna put a circle up here actually I'd love to put an arc I think I can put an arc I didn't do this last time let's give it a shot arc from here to uh, here usually you pick those two points yeah hey look at that it's working cool didn't do that last time escape arc trim and I've got my shape it's really nice. I'm going to try a circular pattern. I 
don't know if I got this one to work last time or what. Get back here. There we go. So it's hidden under this. This one usually looks like this and people can't find the circular pattern. But it's circular. And I want to pick you and you. And it's got a number here somewhere three times. I'm going to double click on that and put five. And I'm going to hit tab again because I don't want to hit enter. And there they are. One, two, three, four, five. How it knew to go around the center is beyond me. I guess I could drag that and put it somewhere else. Yeah, I could. But no, I'll leave it where it was. And then I hit uh, enter. And then escape circular pattern. And it didn't work. So let's try that again. You and you. Uh, five, please. Enter. Uh, see that? Little mouse button shows up. Says, "Click my left, please," and then I will do it for you. That was weird. I had to click it twice, and uh, there they are. Now I just got to extrude them. Uh, there's also a circular pattern up here after you get out of Sketch. Uh, where to go? Yeah, it's right there. Linear, circular. I think I actually did it with that one last time, but it was kind of a hassle. But it was also very similar. Uh, so I want to remove one. Two, three, four, five. He he he. And well, wow, that's kind of weird. I'll say instead of blind through all, and check it off. And there is our wheel. Very nice. Assembly. Insert wheel. Insert. I'm gonna go with part two. Uh, that's really not what I meant. I meant the whole thing. That's weird. I never noticed that before. And why am I doing this? So you can do this now. Go away. Highlight everything. Click on the little scale down here in the corner. And you should get a volume of 0.272 and a surface area of 11.9. Didn't pick a material, so there's no mass. All right. That's it. Have fun.